Hello world, it's Craig. Some time ago in video number 96, when discussing Intel's IMM882 CPU board, which was part of their Intellect 8 system, I posed the question as to why they used this exclusive OR as the output buffer on the 8008. Exclusive OR is an amazing little device, but it seems like an odd choice for this buffer. Since making that video, a number of people have asked me about the reasoning, and so I apologize for not doing this follow-up video much sooner than this. Now, I wasn't there at the time, so this is pure conjecture. The 8008 was a pretty pathetic effort all the way around. Much of it resulted from Intel's refusing to expand microprocessors out of the small dies and small dip packages. There was no room for huge bus driver transistors on the outputs, so the 8008 bus is only compatible with low power TTL devices. And barely that, the 8008 had a fan out of one, meaning it could only drive one low power input. So pretty sad little chip. In the earlier SIM 8, Intel chose to use a 74L04 hex inverter as the output buffer on the 8008. For onboard, they followed that up with another hex inverter, the 7404 this time, to get back to positive logic for the onboard signals. But for offboard, they used 3404s for the buffers and latches all the way out to the bus, and those were all inverting. But in the SIM 8, Intel had negative assertion bus logic. See, all these address lines out here in the data lines are active low. On the Intellect 8, they switched to positive logic for the address and data lines. All the address lines are active high. They used the latest high-speed chips, the 8093, I think, from National for the bus driver, and Signetics 8T10 for the latches. Now, they could have switched any one item from inverting to non-inverting to get a positive logic on the bus, but they decided to switch everything on the board to positive logic. So they needed a positive logic, low-power buffer out of the 8008. So this board was designed in 1972. If you browse the 1972 data books for low-power TTL devices that have totem pole outputs, you'll find the 74L00 quad NAND gate, the O2 NOR, the O4 hex inverter, which is what they used on the SIM 8, 74L10 triple three input NAND, 20 dual four input NAND, 38 input NAND, and then it goes up into the MSI. There's some decoders, RS and JK latches, outer adders, counters, and so forth. And then the 74L86 quad two input exclusive OR, and then some other uh, complementary chips. But notice that all of the logic gates, buffers, and drivers are inverting. Of all the available low power TTL logic devices, the lowest chip count way to make a non-inverting buffer is to use the 74L86 exclusive OR with one of the inputs tied low. So that's my guess. If it's 1972 and you need to use an 8-bit non-inverting low power TTL buffer, a pair of 74L86 exclusive ORs was pretty much the only game in town. Let me know if you agree or disagree with my thinking. That's it for this video. As always, this channel is not monetized, so it runs entirely on likes, shares, subscribers, and comments. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.